I'm Matt Tink from Rugby WA. This catch and pass drill works on fitness, ball work and vision. A halfback throws a clearing pass to the first receiver and the ball is then transferred across the line. The last man places the ball on the ground which is picked up by the halfback who has followed his pass. Whilst this occurs, the players receive the next ball almost immediately and the process continues. Make sure you practice passing on both sides of the body. And remember, practice the skill and not the drill. Okay, what we've got here is just a basic passing drill. The guys are fairly close together, so initially there's no need for a spiral pass. Just want a nice, accurate pass. The boys will have their hands up, ready to receive the ball. As they approach the red cones, they need to uh, run around the one closest to them, and they return, throwing a wider pass, hopefully with a spiral, ball out in front. Okay, at about 50%, let's go. Just soft hands through, a bit of depth. Right, we get a bit wider. First man must take us forward, wide pass. Good, okay, next group up for me. Away we go, a bit more speed about it. Good hands, good hands, away we go. We return, good. We need to keep moving, no planting of the feet. Let's go again. Up we come. Good calling. Go wide balls. Good hands. Okay, pretty easy drill, not being executed too well. Let's go, boys. Ball out in front. Hi, I'm Matt Tink from Rugby WA. This passing drill focuses on high repetitions of left and right passing. One player continuously feeds one of two balls to the main passer. The main passer works left and right passing continuously. The extra ball is passed back to the drill feeder by the inactive player. To mix the drill up, the feeder can place the ball on the ground or drop them down similar to that of a lineout. After one minute, change the main passer. Remember, practice the skill and not the drill. That was Drill of the Week, thanks to Force 15 and Rugby WA. It's Drill of the Week with Matthew Tink from Rugby WA, thanks to Force 15. Hi, I'm Matt Tink from Rugby WA. In a 5x5 five five metre grid, two players continuously attack either end of the grid. The purpose of the drill is to score as many tries as possible without being disrupted. Each time they attack, a new player acts as a defender. Once the attackers are halted, two new attackers immediately step up and the drill continues. Remember, practice the skills and not the drill. That was Drill of the Week, thanks to Force 15 and Rugby WA. Hi, I'm Matt Tink from Rugby WA. With the ELVs being played this year, this game-based drill focuses on attacking and defending the free kick. All players start spread out on the ground and the coach awards the free kick to either side. All players then jump to their feet and get set to either attack or defend. This game gives teams the opportunity to train their free kick plays in a game situation. Remember, practice the skills and not the drill. Okay, 
what we're working on here is a line break, break drill. I've got my four attackers for me. I've got two lateral defenders. I've got a man acting as a blind side winger. Also got a full back. The idea of the drill here is the four attackers will beat these two defenders. My blind side winger comes across. Still remains a four on two. We need to score the try. If we go through it about half speed. Let's go. Guys take the ball to the line. They're through, they're away. Four on two. We score the try. If you want to add an element of fitness to this drill, obviously you get the guys to run back a bit quicker. We set. Let's go. That's fine. He's taken the tackle. We score the try, hopefully with a better pass. Hi, I'm Matt Tink from Rugby WA. The focus of this drill is on the attackers identifying the space in the defensive line. The defensive line runs back towards the coach. The coach tells the defenders where to make the space. The attackers need to make a decision on how best to attack the space by playing what's in front of them. This drill promotes decision making for attackers and it is a great activity to improve your player's general attacking ability. Remember, practice the skills and not the drill. I'm Matt Tink from Rugby WA. This is a 4 on 4 drill that focuses on the defenders making decisions whilst fatigued. A half back plus four attackers set up an attacking raid whilst the defenders perform a rugby relevant activity. On the coach's call, the defenders form a defensive line and attempt to shut down the attack. This can be repeated with various activities and by adding or subtracting attackers and defenders. Emphasis should be placed on the defenders communicating and remaining in a line. Remember, 